Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play XCOM Terror from the Deep. And when we last left off, a many great glorious things were happening as a result of, you know, beginning this mission. And so far no one's died, which is also a good thing. But we're going to end turn at this stage. You know, we've managed to get a few people out. We'll have, um, have Luca at the back, just in case. Um... Which will have the Yak of Glory come forth. Yaks are glorious, and now they're at the fore. Let's end turn. Indeed, a Gilman terror site. A thing. No one's gonna shoot at it. Oh, wait. Some shot took a shot at him. Plenty of aliens everywhere. Let us go about killing some of them. There's the first. Or, Dragon, let's see if you are worthy of eliminating a Gilman. And yes, you are! Well done, subscriber, on your successful attempt to destroy this enemy alien. Okay. I need to keep a watchful eye upon this interior of the sub, because it has been revealed that there are aliens aboard, and they are live and dangerous. As one would expect. It's a lemon, can't really handle a thermal taser action, so the lemon shall now move forward without the, um, the problems that lemons can often ensue. Battle Bunny also comes forth. So, what happens now, eh? There is another gill man hiding right here. He shall feel the wrath of the... not on a fire. I was going to feel the wrath of that, but it didn't really work out. Would, um, would Ord Dragon like to deliver a second powerful attack? That line of fire. Well, he did deliver a second powerful attack, but fortunately it did not uh, puncture the armor of the uh, venerable Colonicent Aquajet. However, uh, we can't do much more. How about a nade situation? Can we do a nade? The Battle Bunny, also a new subscriber. Jolly Roger. Can you provide the necessary grenade additive? The answer is no. Because you can't. No time units. Very well. Yak of Glory. You should stay there and be ready. And that's really all we can do for this turn. So we shall end this turn right now. Probably have that gill man get a bit angry. But doesn't do much else. Now, Battle Bunny. You shall now fire upon this gill man. And again. And another person takes a shot at the tank, but the tank shrugs off the wounds. Now, or Dragon, can you succeed? Or Dragon once again. Proves his worth as a valuable XCOM operative. Now, Chrysanthemum Aquajet. More is revealed. And an enemy felled. Excellent work, Award Dragon. Now, my MSN is beeping. What do you want? Excuse me a few moments. I am recording. XCOM. Alright, well, the Yak of Glory needs to stay right there, and it's a lemon shall now accompany the tank. Okay, carrying on. We need to have more people out and into the force. Scooper Steve shall be by the door, ready, waiting. Jolly Roger has a primed grenade. We need to get ourselves into a good place to use this prime grenade. Taking the most awkward route possible. We should now throw this grenade here. That's good. No death occurred as a result of that grenade. Lots of Gilman wandering around. We 
you can see a ghoul man there. The lame president will now take a shot. And the lame president successfully eliminates yet another ghoul man. Never to see the light of day again. <clears throat> the Aquajet now is quite happy with doing its job. It is really a nice thing having a tank. You know, I'm content with my tank. Um, now, we will need to eventually penetrate this sub. Yak of Glory continues to guard the sit, sit, uh, opening. Jolly Roger should also now join in the guarding thing. Excellent work. Now, it's a lemon. The lemon shall now advance into the bubbles, because XCOM operatives love bubbles. We know how the XCOM operatives truly feel inside about the bubbly things. Their hearts are filled with joy. Mr. Plough. Mr. Plough shall now join us. And Ore Dragon shall now creep south, as well as Battle Bunny. Okay, well, that is all. A grenade was thrown and missed the incredible venerable tank. And so now the tank shall retaliate and miss completely. And the second shot successfully eliminates yet another Gilman. It's Eleven continues to advance, creeping forward ever so slowly, ever so successfully towards the next pillar. Well done, Lemon. You have done well. Okay, the lame president shall now advance. Because we need to, of course, cover the whole area. There were some gilmen, they have been eliminated in the sub. There may be more gilmen in the sub, but we need to cover every angle, such as this angle here. Unfortunately, most of the sub components have been destroyed by my sonic oscillator, but that isn't a problem, because the Yak of Glory continues to cover that opening. And Mr. Plough shall now be, um, come behind. He shall support the lame president and cover the other opening when it gets there. So far, so good. Or Dragon creeps forward, as well as Battle Bunny. Okay, very good. And that's the turn. And the end of the mission, actually. There you go. Alien sub recovered, and 127 buffer onto this mission. We have more promotions. Mr. Plough is now a lieutenant, and Scuba Steve has become an ensign. Isn't that nice? We have a lieutenant. Well, the lieutenant, you're an aquaplastic armor, as you deserve. Um, let's see our promotions. Fire you see Revenge of the Goat remains very good on the accuracy front. Jolly Roger, also good. Uh, Mr. Plough, not so good, but there you go, doesn't need to be. Uh, Scuba Steve, yep, doing well. Um, Yak of Glory, Battle Bunny, it's 11. Ord Dragon, did well, even though it's only got 52% accuracy, still managed to pull off a few good shots. Uh, a different, the different duck is indeed different, look at the stats, they're magnificent. Let's hope that he survives. And of course the Quokka, not doing so badly, and Heavy Storm. Providing a heavy swath of good ranged accuracy. But they're not coming just yet. We shall wait for our thing to return home. It's time to attack the base again. Yes, I know. I know, I know. But, oh wait, not yet. You, uh, patrol, we shall now intercept this large sub. Nope, followed. Okay. Now what we want to do, if we can, is intercept the supply sub. That would be a very, very happy thing. And you take down the supply sub as well. Unfortunately, we missed it. So we just have to take on the base instead. The supply sub would have been nice, but we missed the supply sub. Nope, nope, I didn't mean that. Uh, very well, carrying on. There we go. Trying the alien colony again. This time we shall do things differently. The first thing 
is making sure that we have, um, we will do the weapons right, that's for sure. But the second thing is we will keep Mr. Plough in the sub. Unless it's very clear that we have won, Mr. Plough is not coming out of the sub at all. And that is definite. Luca, once again, shall remain the, the gal with the uh, Disruptor Pulse Launcher. It is weird why it's not armed automatically, but I'm not going to ask questions. Um, she can have a Sonic Pistol. Everyone else will just be armed normally. The lame president, you may have the stun gun. Revenge of the goat. Gas cannons. Our armament is not incredibly impressive, but we shall do what we can against the enemies. Mr. Plow is armed with a thermal taser. Actually, let's let's think about this here. Yes, we're gonna run it low on weapons, but Luca, you might as well give your weapon too. Um, we'll give the Sonic Plus Pistol back to, um, where is he? Jolly Roger. As well as the extra grenade. And we'll have our Lieutenant, Mr. Plough, carry the Disruptor Pulse Launcher. Because he's not going to be doing anything else anyway. Uh, Luca, you can have the extra... Flare, and everyone else can have flares. We are expecting some problems with lights that are across this level. When we finish the equipment, we will begin the level proper. I am going to be as intelligent as possible and reduce losses and pull out when necessary. Because if we get lots of kills off the site, you know, we can still do well. Um, we don't need to give you a flare. Jolly Roger can have the flare. You should just have it in his hands because he's going to throw it immediately anyway. Uh, Mr. Plough, you don't need that, do you? Luca, Scuba, Yak. Battle Bunny. It's a lemon. And... Is that everyone? Or Dragon? Okay. Well, there's the door. So when we come back, more Let's Play XCOM!